Welcome back, Gambino Mafia, uh, to another random rambling. Today we got TNA versus WWE Dream Match Mania. There's going to be a little bit of WrestleMania discussion in this too, but I want to open up stating that I came up with this idea behind Jordan Grace being at the Royal Rumble, and there being a lot of speculation between uh, Forbidden Door opening or what's the um, what's the word they used on that I saw? Let me see if I can find that picture. Uh, is this recent? I need recent. Um, where was that? Worlds Collide versus TNA. Um, so I have some in my notes. I'm going to read those off to you. And there will be pictures on on screen. So the first one, we'll start from the top, work our way from the champions, and then go down from there. We have Roman Reigns versus Moose. Um, Roman Reigns versus Moose, man. The world champion versus world champion. Uh, you can't really say anything. Two spear guys. It's just w the matchup would be great. You know, Roman Reigns has gotten way better in the ring, and I think a match against Moose would be phenomenal. Moose is a great talent, one of the best talents outside of WWE. Um, I don't care what you say. I really enjoy Moose from his old theme, Moose, Moose, Moose. That shit was hard. Um, I think Roman would win this one, obviously, um, but I think that would be a good matchup. Next, we got Seth Rollins versus Chris Saban. I think this would be phenomenal. You know, Seth Rollins is such a great talent. You could put a wet mop out there, and he would put on a five-star match. Blow up doll, a spoon, a bag of beans, bag of flour, bag of rice, whatever the case may be. Seth Rollins would go out there and put on a phenomenal match. Next, we got Rhea Ripley versus Jordan Grace, the two women's champions going against each other. Um, Brie is the best. Jordan Grace is one of my favorite female wrestlers in all of the world. Um, I've been hip on her for the very longest time and been a huge fan of her and think that match would be a hard-hitting women's match, bloody. Um, see, will, bills of strength between the two of them. I think it would just be an overall very, very, very good match. Next, we would have Finn Balor and Damian Priest versus ABC, which is Chris Bay and Austin Ace. I, th I think this would be great. You put the two tag team champions against each other. Um, high flying. Damian Priest bringing in the strength and the hard hitting. Finn versus Chris Bay. Finn versus Ace Austin. I think this would be a really good match. I think um, Judgment Day would win overall with the strength of Damian Priest and the numbers game with them having Dom and R Truth and Rhea and JD McDowell. McNall. Um, next, we have the Kabuki Warriors, Asuka and Kari Sane versus Decay, Havoc, and Rosemary. Another great match. Bunch of people who just put on put on an absolute classic, Asuka and Kari Sane. Um, phenomenal. I know the women's tag division is starting to build up, and TNA's working on theirs. But I think this match, you put the tag team champions against each other, and I think you can make magic happen. Just let those girls go out there and do what they do best, and let the rest be history. This one, Five Chef Kisses, um, Kevin Owens versus Eddie Edwards would be an absolute banger. You could also see maybe if um, Sammy Callahan's still there. Um, go back. They've got a, a lot of really good talent over there in TNA. It's crazy that they just released um, the guy that was in charge. I can't think of his name right off the top of my head. Let me do my due diligence and do my research. TNA. Fires. Uh, Scott Demore. Um, if they had Sammy Callahan there, Kevin Oldridge and Sammy Callahan would also be a phenomenal match, but Cammy, Sammy Callahan's wrestling elsewhere. Um, next, we would have Carmelo Hayes and Trick Williams. I know they broke up, but I, I did this like two or three weeks ago, and I'm just now getting to it. Um, Carmelo Hayes and Trick Williams versus the Rascals, Trey Miguel and Zachary Wentz. I think this would be great. Zach Wentz and Trey Miguel are phenomenal in the ring. Melo and um, Trick are up and rising superstars and the amount of um, effort those guys would put in the ring the high fly maneuverability would just be top tier I think would be very well and I think that's a 50-50 um, I could see either side winning but th that would be a match that I would love to see as well um, we got AJ Styles versus Josh Alexander what, what, need, what else do I need to say AJ Styles is just like Seth Rollins you could put him out there with fucking uh, Ellsworth and he put up on, he put on, put on a great match put him out there with a great guy like Josh Alexander and you will have an absolute barn banger barn burner yeah gosh get my words tied up um, yeah I, I, I would pay an outrageous amount of money to see that match happen 
Next, we have um, Chad Gable versus Jonathan Gresham, two guys who are just phenomenal ring talents who use uh, submissions and um, holds at their will. I, I think it doesn't. What needs to be said doesn't have to be said. That match would be fire. Um, this one's just for the fun of it, for the laugh behind it. Gender versus Heath because they were in three man band. You could even have Drew come out there and they do the little rock thing and. It would just be for the fun, just for the laughs. You can even bring our truth out there. I, shit, I, I care less. Trent, Tyler Bates versus Trent Seven. We know the history those guys had. They were in. Um, they came up together. They were in tag teams together. They won belts together. Put those guys against each other. Um, I also have Gunther versus Jake. Something if the crazy sting thing because it can't happen, but to each their own. Um, Shinsuke versus Kushida. Don't know why that didn't happen on WWE, and if it did, uh, memory slips me, but. Two great Japanese talents that probably put on barn burners in the past in uh, New Japan. Fire. Fire. Um, Sheamus versus PCO. Uh, I picked these two. Sheamus is just a guy that doesn't give up. PCO is a guy who, will, who won't quit unless you kill him. And Sheamus would be the guy to do that. Sheamus would be the guy to do that. And if I had to do one for... Uh, I mean, we, we could do this for AEW while we're here. Um, we'll pull up the roster and do it live on the scene. If my computer will load the roster. Oh, here we go. It's loading. Loading, loading, loading. So we would get Samoa Joe versus Roman Reigns, which I think would be fire. Um, Samoa Joe got... He was so misused once he got to the main roster. And... I think he's had better run in AEW. Has it been perfect? No. Will I complain? No. Um, well, yes, I will gripe because uh, Samoa Joe deserves the world. He's literally one of my favorite wrestlers in all of the planet. He always has been. Uh, Joe, Joe, Joe. Just, yeah. Um, let's go ahead and do this. Window capture. Make myself small so we can do this live on the scene. Live and direct on the scene. Move myself like up here here maybe and then we would get tony storm versus Rhea, which i think would be great you could also do tony storm versus um io shirai but uh, tony storm versus Rhea would be the match that i would want to see the most um tony storm's another wrestler who has all the tools in her bag but wwe just didn't know how to use her properly I make myself a little bit bigger um and then we get julia hart you could do her against io you could do her against pretty much anybody um, then we get Sting and Darby Allen versus Damian Priest and Finn Balor. I I would love that. I would absolutely love that. You could. I, I would pay an outrageous amount of dollars to see that. That would be a really good match. Uh, then we have Orange Cassidy. Um, hmm. Let's go to another Google tab and let's just see Orange Cassidy. WWE Dream Match. See what they got. Go to images. Um, this doesn't really. John Cena versus Orange Cassidy. I I mean it's it's really hard to gauge if you ask me. Um, Orange Cassidy versus who? Seth Rollins? Orange Cassidy versus Gunther. I mean, you could do Orange Cassidy versus Gunther. Orange Cassidy versus um, Logan Paul. I would be okay with all those in all actuality. Um, but I will do... And we got Christian Cage here. So we're going to do Orange Cassidy versus... Logan Paul. I think that would be that would that would be pretty funny. Logan Paul has been really good in the ring of as of late, and this 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 would this would be great. Uh, and then we got Christian Cage versus. Well, I mean, we could do like Randy Orton. I mean, the amount of opportunities is is endless. You could literally do anybody versus Christian Cage. He's been pretty damn good over there at AEW. Then you got the Trio World Champions. I mean, this would be could be the place where you do. Um, Damian Finn and Dominic versus the trio champions, and then for the tag team champions, um, so Sting and Darby Allen, who would be a good WWE match? F 
for Sting and Darby Allen. Um, let's look at WWE's tag team division. Tag teams. Um, tag teams and stables. Let's just go to images. I mean, you could do Kofi Xavier, um, Big E if he wasn't hurt. That would be cool. Um, you do DIY versus them. Jimmy and Jay, if they weren't split up. This is all the time I want. Four. DIY. And Pete Dunn and uh, we already got. No, that was on the other one. Tyler Bates. Um, Braun Breaker and Baron Corp and the Dirty Dogs. Legato Del Fantasma. Or LW. Oh, yeah, Legato Del Fantasma. Um. Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. I know they're not tag team currently, but that would be cool. Um, Hard Truth and um, The Miz. I mean, WWE's tag division is just not that great right now. And that's probably why, whatchamacallit, um, we have... Finn and them holding the ba the belts for as long as they have. We got like Alpha Academy, like A Town Down Under, No Bayou Boys, the Bloodline, um, British Strong Style, Chase University, D'Angelo Family, Final Testament, Gallus, Imperium, you get Lubid, Kaiser, Giovanni, Vinci, uh, Vinci um, Latino World Order. I mean. It's just not one of those things. WWE's tag division is not that great. But Eddie Kingston versus Gunther is definitely a match that I would love to see. Eddie Kingston versus Gunther, you could sign me up for that. Edge versus Randy Orton. Adam Cole versus Seth Rollins. Um, Adam Page versus Kevin Owens. Um, some of these other guys I could really care less to see. I mean, An Angelico versus Ricochet. AR Fox versus Ricochet. Um... Candido versus Ricochet, Big Bill versus Omos, Brody King versus uh, Braun Breaker, Brian Cage versus Braun Breaker, these two versus um, Bobby Lashley, um, see who else, Buddy Matthews, I mean, the, Brian Danielson versus Chad Gable, Brian Daniels versus Styles. I mean, they have so much talent. The opportunities for um, a Dream Match Mania, Forbidden Door, whatever you want to call it, is is just like Keith Lee versus Obafeme. Let's just go to the bottom. See what we've got here at the bottom. These are the women's. Um, I love Willow Nightingale, Taya, Ruby Soho, Tay Mello, Rio. I mean, they got they got some hitters down here too. They got hitters in the women's division. Uh, it's just about finding a way to book them better. Uh, Will Ospreay versus Seth Rollins is a dream match. Will Ospreay versus AJ Styles. I mean, like, all these guys could all put on phenomenal matches. Tro Strickland versus Seth Rollins. Um, Butcher and the Blade versus uh, Authors of Pain. Um, Scorpio Sky. Rouge. Sammy Guevara versus, like, um... The, what is those those guys' name? No, get out of here. Fuck you in your advertisement. Austin Theory or Grayson Waller. I think that would be really great. Um, Ray Phoenix versus Ricochet. Ricky Starks versus Ricochet. Like, Ricochet could really do phenomenal. Powerhouse Hobbs versus um, uh, Trick Williams or Obafeme or Braun Breaker. Parker Bordeaux was a WWE guy that just never turned out to be anything. Um... We could do LWO versus Santana and Ortiz. Rest in peace to uh, Brody Lee. Miro could do crazy things. The Bucks versus the Uso brothers. Mike Bennett, um, Matt Taven, um, Matt Hart, Matt and Jeff bringing the Dudley Boys for one final match. Malachi Black versus like a Karrion Cross or them versus Judgment Day would be phenomenal. Um, Mark Briscoe, rest in peace to Jay. Uh, Jay Briscoe, I wanted to say Jake Briscoe. Lance Archer versus Gunther. Lance Archer versus Braun Breaker. Lance Archer versus um, Obafeme. Lance Archer versus. Um, go to the WWE roster. Uh, 
Uh, if you made it this far, um, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. We're doing a lot more wrestling content. Um, fuck you and your advertisement. Get out of here. Um, he has like Oscar, Angela, and Dawkins. You could do some crazy things with with guys over there in AEW. Blair Davenport. Uh, man, I wish Beaky could come back. Braun versus Lance Archer would be phenomenal. Um, fucking Brock Lesnar, you shitty human being. Bronco Nima. Bronson Reed versus Lance Archer would probably happen in the Indies, but on WWE pay per view main stage would be great. The Creed brothers could do some crazy things. Cameron Grimes and uh, Ricky Starks. Hayes and Ricky Starks. Um, Gable and Ricky Starks. Cody Rhodes versus. Uh, I mean anybody really I mean he's fought, fought everybody there uh, Dijak versus Lance Ar uh, Lance Archer yeah Dragon Lee versus those guys over there Rick um, Phoenix and um, Pentagon Jr. Drew McIntyre versus um, Lance Archer uh, Finn Balor can do crazy things I mean, we already talked about Gunther. Io Dragunov versus Lance Archer would be fire. Ivar. Um, Jade Cargill just came from there. The Uso brothers, if they were together, would be cool. Um, DIY could do some crazy things. Karrion Cross. Where has Carl Anderson been? Keanu Carver, I'm not familiar with him, but he looks... He's got some energy. Kevin Owens is another guy that does things. LA Knight. The New Day. Um, Logan Paul. Where has the where's Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson been? Um, Valky uh, Valkyria, Montez Ford, and D'Angelo Dawkins could do some crazy things. Naomi, oh, my boy Obafemi, Odyssey Jones. He's on Raw since fucking when? What is with Tez Bryce? He's just got the WWE logo behind him. Oral Mensa. I like his 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 vibe. Nikita Lyons and her sexy ass. Pat McAfee versus uh, Orange Cassidy. Um. Piper Niven, who uh, let's go down to the women's division. Piper Niven versus mm, you do Athena. Piper Niven versus Sheeta. Piper Niven versus um, Chris Statlander. Chris Statlander versus Rhea Ripley. Sign me up for that. Um, Piper Niven versus Nyla Rose. Piper Niven versus um, Willow Nightingale. Taya Valkyrie. Like, there, there, there's, man, if they could fucking find a way to cross that bridge and quit being fucking scumbags and make some of these matches happen, it, it like, I can't wait for WWE 2K25 to come out March 8th, because I'm going to make a lot of this shit happen, and it's going to be phenomenal. Like, WWE, you're dropping the ball. Why is Robert Roode not getting that NXT push that he had? Glorious. Like, bruh, bruh, Santos Escobar versus... Uh, and Andrade Siamas versus um, Lucha Bros. Um, I mean, Seth Rollins put him out there with anybody. Sheamus put him out there with anybody. Shinsuke put him out there with anybody. Solo versus Lance Archer. Um, the Miz versus Orange Cassidy. Like there is Tommaso Ciampa and uh, versus Darby Allen. Tyson. Uh, like, who are some of these brothers? Um, What's up with his makeup on his face? Oh, Wendy Chu. Yes, ma'am. Xavier Woods. Like, what is up with this guy? He had so much hype. Wes Lee. Like, the opportunities that WWE and AEW could do for, like, a dream match could change the entire world. But they can't find a way to get along. And it, it, it baffles me because... I would pay for a pay-per-view if it was a WWE versus AEW versus TNA versus New Japan or WWE versus AEW, WWE versus TNA, WWE versus New Japan. Like, your options are so endless. Like, you just sat here and listened to me talk about it for literally going on like 15 minutes. It, it just, it, it's it's unfathomable. Um, WrestleMania 2024. Um, let's talk about WrestleMania. You know, um, it's <laughs> it's beginning to look very questionable because we don't know what the whole deal is with um, Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns and the, that whole Rock thing. Is it going to be Cody versus? Is it going to be a tag match? Are we going to see 
uh, Cody and The Rock versus Sola and Roman, or are we going to see a two night event where he versus The Rock on night one and Cody on night two, or like what do we what are we going to get out of that? Who is going to face Seth? Is it going to be Drew? Is it going to be Cody? Is it someone that we're not aware of at the moment? Who like there's so much we still have so much time to build up to WrestleMania, obviously, but like. Elimination Chamber is right around the corner, and I don't even know who could be the locks for the Chamber. Like You could put in guys like LA Knight, Styles, Orton, Drew. Do you want to put in Main Event Jey Uso, Sami Zayn? Do you throw in Braun Breaker? Do you toss in Melo or Trick or um, Lashley or Karrion Cross? Or are they going to have a match? Like, There's so many questions still to be answered, and I know we still have a lot of time between now and then. But like... I want to know what's next. I'm on the edge of my seat. I want to see what's going to happen at Mania. And as of this moment, we really don't know what's next. We don't. We don't know. I know Punk was supposed to win the Rumble. And I'm pretty sure Cody was supposed to win the Chamber. And with Punk getting hurt, really tossed a major wrench into a lot of the plans that WWE probably had planned for, um, for Mania. It's just that simple. I've been doing a lot of talk about Thor's get dry. Um, I don't know. Like, what do I want to see? I want to see Jimmy versus Jay. I want to see Logan Paul versus LA Knight. Jimmy versus Jay, brother versus brother match, no holes barred, street fight. Um, just check it off the box go ahead and put it in there la knight versus logan paul i'm i'm there for that too um who are we getting for gunther because gunther's not be able to go to chamber i would like to see i mean gunther versus sheamus is the match that i would really want to see but we don't know the timetable and uh sheamus's return do you throw braun breaker out there um is there some, Sami Zayn, jay uso like I don't know about none of those guys' names, but Sheamus is a guy that I would like to see Gunther go against. Give me Sheamus versus Gunther, and I'm all in. Give me Bianca versus Jade Cargill, I'm all in. Give me Seth versus who? I don't know. Seth versus Drew? We've already seen that. We need something new. And the, the amount of time we have to make that new happen is a decent amount of time. But are they going to be able to do it right? Are they going to be able to do it right? I don't know. I don't know if they'll be able to do it right. I genuinely don't. Um, who else? What else have we got? Like, we're going to get Bailey versus EO. What are we going to do about the tag titles? Um, Kari Sane and Asuka. Like, what is the women's tag division going to look like? We, we got to fill out this card. And I know WrestleMania is quite a few months away, but like, there's no storylines that's really leading us to some of these matchups that we have to build. And I know this, the time is there, but like we need to start getting the ball rolling now. Like we need to go ahead and start getting Logan Paul versus LA Knight on the on TV and figuring out what's next for Gunther and what we're doing with Seth and the Roman Co uh, Cody Rock thing and um, what is uh, Damian Pierce going to do about his hit the belt? Do we get um, Damian uh, Damian Priest? cashing in at mania or is it going to be at the chamber does he ever cash in it's been months now um the tag titles do we get priest and balor versus um our truth and the miz i'd be okay with that they finally beat him down to the point where miz comes for a huge save and then we we get the match at mania we they do it at the chamber they lose and then they get a rematch at mania sure um, you could even throw DIY out there. You can throw Imperium out there as well. Woods and um, Kofi. You can throw out a bunch of different tag teams. Make it a six tag, six tag team tag match, and I, I, I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, we also got guys like Solo. What are we gonna do with Solo? I think he needs a match. Do we get Trick versus Mellow at Mania? I'd love to hear whoop that Trick, whoop that Trick, and a and a main uh wrestlemania event that would be fire um i'd like to see dra uh, e uh, Ilya, that uh Ilya dragunov i'd like to see him um 
Carmelo Hayes. What about Braun Breaker? Do we get Braun versus Gunther? I've already mentioned that, but like, there's a lot of guys' names that I want to see on main at Mania that we don't know which direction we're going with it as at this moment. Um. Also, I just lost my train of thought. Darn, 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 darn. What was I thinking of? Rhea versus Becky is what I think is going to happen. Um, and I think it's going to be a fucking absolute banger because both those women can fucking kick ass. Because mm -hmm. Nia's not beating fucking um, Rhea in Australia, in her homeland. Let's just random ramble because that's what this is called. That's why you're here. Why are we getting the pay-per-view at 4 o'clock in the morning? You do to know some of us work right we have families we have kids ain't nobody trying to be up at four to like seven in the morning a lot of us have to wake up and watch the replay and have to not use our phones for social media to not get those spoiler alerts of what happened i i don't know i hate the whole thing i hate it so much um like oh man there's so much that we gotta we gotta figure out like i also want to see like andrade cn almas versus um Oh, Santos Escobar. Uh, yeah, I'd like to see Santos Escobar versus Andrade Cien Almas. Um, you can bring in Dragon Lee. It'd be, you could do a six-man tag. Dragon Lee, Andrade, Ray versus San Santos Escobar, uh, Joaquin Wild, um, and uh, Cruz del Toro. And you could even make it a, a four-person and have... Um, what's her name? Uh, Electra Lopez? Like I think that's a match we got to have. Six-man tag, four-man tag. It, it doesn't matter. Sign me up. I do want to see Andrade versus... Um, dang, I keep forgetting his damn name. Uh, Santos Escobar. I don't know. There's This has been a, a really rambling video, but that's why you tune in to hear me talk random, random things. And I randomly ramble just now. But... That has been all for me for today, folks. I have been your host, your favorite neighborhood crab man. Let me know what you think about the video. Do you like this kind of content? The wrestling content? Is that your favorite? What is your favorite? Just comment. I don't get many comments unless it's on shorts. But um, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for the next video. I have been your host. If you want to see a WWE universe between now and the end, uh, until WWE 2025 drops off, 2025, 2K25 drops. Leave a comment that you want to see it, and I will make it happen for you guys. But until next time, I've been your host. Peace. Love you, boys and girls.
Thank you.